What is the best glass to metal glue? I don't actually know. A lot of different opinions online and no real definitive source of answers aside from some like, what do you want to call it? Specialty industrial glues, UV curing things. Stuff that's really not accessible at the big boxes or anything like that. So I wanted to run my own test here. And the criteria was it had to be semi-clear and it had to be easily accessible, no special ordering. Sort of like if you break something, you want to fix it that day. So I found a few options that I'm going to run through today. I've got a quick setting epoxy. This particular one is JB Weld. I've got an underdog rear view mirror adhesive. I've got a polyurethane glue, in this case is Gorilla. I've also got just a generic, cheap super glue. I found a few um, websites that mentioned this might be your best option. To run this test, I have four half inch bolts here. Um, they do have some little product markings on them, so I'm gonna take these out to the grinder and go ahead and remove that and get down to bare steel. And then I just have some cheap 3 16 float glass that I also bought at Lowe's. We're going to attach each one, and then we're gonna rig up a little test rig to kind of semi-pseudo-scientifically figure out which one actually provided the best adhesion after 24 hours. So here we are all glued up. All look relatively aesthetically pleasing, except for one. Zoomed in, we can see the rear view mirror adhesive looks great, as does the super glue or cyanoacrylate. The epoxy is passable and the polyurethane glue looks awful. One thing I didn't keep in mind when gluing is the fact that polyglue expands as it cures. For our test rig, I've suspended a bucket that will be filled with water and then weighed. The joint that resists the most torque before failing wins. Our first test is with super glue or cyanoacrylate.
Jesus. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the frame right here. I'm not going to walk you through the epoxy or the rear view mirror adhesive because they both survived the initial water test as well. What we have coming up next is the one that failed in round one. Ooh. Next up, we've kind of got what I call round two. It's basically the exact same setup, but before I started pouring the water, I added 10 pounds of lead scuba weights to the bottom of the bucket. Unbelievable. So what you just witnessed there is what I like to call a little bit of a shit sandwich. The glass shattered before the joint failed, which kind of screws the test going forward because all we really know is that the joint is stronger than something, but we don't know exactly by how much. Okay, that was fun. I'll say this, I'm a bit blown away that all the glues, with the exception of the polyurethane adhesive, performed as well as they did. Off camera, I weighed each of the buckets after all the joints failed. Our finer, final numbers are as follows. Worst to best, we've got the Gorilla Polyurethane Glue, 15.2 pounds, rear view mirror adhesive, 23.6 pounds, super glue, 26.2 pounds, and finally, quick set epoxy, something greater than 26.7. However, simply stating the weight of the bucket at failure is understating the strength of the joint. Because the weight was acting at a distance, in this case, three inches, the better unit of measurement would be the pound foot, which describes torque. With this in mind, we can say the polyglue failed at 3.8 pound feet, the rear view mirror at 5.9, the super glue at 6.55, and finally, the epoxy at something greater than 6.675. For anyone with a short memory, I say something greater than because in the case of the epoxy, the glass failed before the joint. To put this in perspective, let's look real quick at a small engine from one of my favorite stores, Harbor Freight. The 5.5 horsepower 173cc Predator engine produces 6.6 .6 pound-feet of torque. That's roughly the same amount that was being exerted on the epoxy joint before the glass failed. In my mind, that is simply more than I ever would have expected. And that will about do her for today. If you found any of this useful, a like, share, or sub would be appreciated. Alright, and uh, we'll see you later.